What I wanted to do for my 200th YouTube video is I wanted to create for you something special. So I created a recording PowerPoint tutorial for Camtasia. So what you'll learn here is how to record your slides and audio and put it all together and create a video from that. And while I do mention PowerPoint, you don't have to use just PowerPoint. I'll also show you how you can use Google Slides in order to create your presentation. Many people use Camtasia to record their voice over slides. Presentations like this can be used for training, motivating, and selling. Because so many students have asked about how to record their slides in Camtasia, I created a dedicated guide called Recording PowerPoint with Camtasia. You can find a link to the PDF in the downloads section of this lesson. And while the focus of the PDF and the lesson are on Microsoft PowerPoint, you can just as easily use Google Slides to create your presentation and record the presentation. Or you could export your Google Slides to Microsoft PowerPoint. Note that some Camtasia integrations require that PowerPoint be installed. I'm not a designer, but I've learned some tips for better presentations. Even if you have a slide deck ready, stick around. You might learn some tips to make your presentation even better. Number one, create your slides using a 16 to nine ratio. The original ratio of four to three isn't often used and can make your presentations seem dated. Number two, use low contrast backgrounds. Backgrounds should be subtle and not contain a lot of light and dark places. If it does, it might make something more difficult to read. Use dark words on a light background or light words on a dark background. Dark blue on a black background is hard to read. Choose an easy to read font. Leave the fancy fonts for wedding invitations. Slide fonts should be clean. Consider using fonts like Open Sans, Roboto, and Lado. Number five, make fonts large. If you want people to be able to read the text, make it large. Some people may be watching on their phone. Make the text readable for mobile devices. Number six, less is more. Text should be succinct. Make information concise. Aim to use five lines or fewer with five words per line maximum and turn off the bullets. Number seven, use images. Pictures convey some concepts easier than words. If applicable, use a picture on every slide. Bonus points if you can make the slide a picture only. Number eight, be consistent. Use the same font, size, colors, animations, and transitions throughout your slides. Viewers should feel a sense of consistency among slides. Number nine, be conversational. Avoid jargon and abbreviations when possible. Slides should use words that you would use, not sound like a research paper. Some people like to record and edit their narration first and then bring in the slides. Others prefer to have the slides first and then add the audio second. It's your choice. If you add and edit the audio first, then it may be easier to sync your slides than adding the audio later. There are a few ways to record audio. We can record on a device outside of Camtasia, like on our smartphone, or inside Camtasia. Remember that the Camtasia recorder has a place to choose a microphone while you're recording. But if you're new to Camtasia and screen recording, you'll probably find it easier to record the screen by itself and then record the audio by itself. If you're used to presenting and you can do both at the same time, go for it. Assuming you're recording your audio separately into your computer, you can use the voice narration tool in Camtasia. Click the voice narration tool or press the V key on your keyboard. At the top, choose your microphone and use the slider to adjust the level. You don't want your audio too loud or too quiet. Paste your outline or your script into the text area and test your recording. Click start voice recording at the bottom and record a few seconds of silence and then a few seconds of voice. Stop and save your test recording. Use over the ear headphones to listen closely to the background noises and make sure your audio is being captured properly. After the audio is captured, it's time to import it into Camtasia. If you used the voice narration tool, then the audio file is already in the media bin. But if you recorded it on your smartphone, then copy the audio file from your phone to your computer before importing it into Camtasia. Remember the easiest way to import a file is to drag it to the media bin. The way I like to edit audio is to drag it to track one and make all of your edits there. There are two great ways to get your slides into Camtasia. The first way is to record your presentation like you would record anything else on your screen. This is my preferred way to turn a presentation into a video because it preserves the animations and transitions. If you choose to record your screen, be sure to run your presentation at full screen. Of course, you'll want to be sure that the Camtasia recorder is set to record at full screen. If you have a second monitor, that's a good way to present and record your presentation. If you choose this option, then you can edit the screen recording like you would any other screen recording. 
trim, cut, freeze, speed up, or slow down any parts you want. Treat this screen recording like any other screen recording. The second way to import slides is to drag your PPTX file to the media bin. This just imports each slide as a single static image. There are no animations or transitions. Note that the larger the presentation, the longer it'll take to import all the slides. To build your presentation in Camtasia, you'll need to drag each slide to the timeline as a separate image. One advantage is that you can easily change the duration by just dragging the right edge of the image on the timeline to display it longer. By default, slides will be five seconds long. If you want to change this default duration, you can. Press Control, comma, or Command, comma, to open Camtasia Preferences. Go to the Timing tab and change the duration of images. Press OK once you've made the change. If you choose this option, add your slides to the timeline one at a time. Extend the slide to where you want it to end and drag down the next slide to start there. Repeat the process until all the slides are on the timeline. Camtasia includes transitions to go from one image or video to another. If you recorded your presentation, you won't need transitions. But you can use these transitions for any images or videos, not just your slides. To see what transitions are available, click the Transitions tool on the left or press the T key. Two suggestions before starting. If you want to use a transition, use one style and use it consistently. Second, use the most professional transitions of fade, fade through black, slide left, and slide right. Leave the other transitions for middle school presentations. To apply a transition, click and drag the transition down to the timeline. Notice as you're moving the transition, Camtasia is showing you where the transition can be applied. For example, you can't apply a visual transition to your audio, but you can apply transitions at the beginning, end, or between different clips. If you want to change the transition, just grab a different transition and drag it to the existing transition. The new transition replaces the old. You'll also notice that the transitions have a duration. Notice the bluish transitions have a handle on either side that you can grab. Click and drag inward to shorten the transition. Drag outward to lengthen the transition. Notice that it balances the transitions so whatever you do to one side of the transition, it will do to the other side. Also notice that it tells you the duration of the transition in seconds and frames. To apply a transition across all your slides, select the slides first. You can do this by dragging a rectangle through them or if they're all on the same track, right click the track and choose Select All Media on Track. Then drag your transition to any selected media and that transition is applied to all selected media. Now that our basic edits are done, we want to save our Camtasia project. We'll save our project by going up to File and clicking Save. We'll choose a folder and give the project a name before clicking the Save button. We need to tell Camtasia to take all our edits and make our project into a video file. We'll go to our menu bar. Depending on your version of Camtasia, the menu might be called Share, or in the latest version, it's called Export. In either case, we want to choose the first option, which is Local File. On your Windows PC, you'll click the drop-down at the top and choose MP4 only up to 1080p. Click Next at the bottom. You can change the name and choose the folder where you want the MP4 video file to be. When you're done, click the Finish or Export button in the lower right, and Camtasia will begin creating your video file that you can upload and share with the rest of the world. 